We've now seen the same tactics from Hunter Biden recently. The current president's son wrote an op-ed saying criticisms of him only hurts fellow recovering addicts. He's kind of pulling out a page from the Trump playbook, right? If you're coming after me, Hunter Biden, well, I'm the victim. I'm persecuted. And now Hunter will run another play out of Trump's book. The younger Biden says he will testify before Republican-run House Oversight Committee, but only in public. The House Oversight Committee rejected his offer. Hunter is back from enjoying Thanksgiving with his dad and family on Nantucket. Still can't catch a break. Eagle Eye observers noted that this year's White House photo didn't include stockings for the grandchildren. Last year, the White House got shellac for not acknowledging the Biden's seventh grandchild. That's the daughter Hunter fathered with a former stripper but refused to support and until recently, President Biden refused to acknowledge. Now Hunter wants to fight back. The only testifying public offer came from Abe Lowell, a sharp elbowed DC defense attorney who once represented Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner. Join us now, Professor Emeritus of Political Science, University of Chicago, Charles Lipson, who's done extensive reporting on Hunter Biden and the accusations against him and his family. Uh, good to see you, Professor, thank you. Help us understand this. You've studied the, the Biden family and how they operate. It was, it was for so long, no comment, no comment. The White House wasn't going to comment. And Hunter Biden hid behind his lawyers, which is a perfectly acceptable way to do things. If you're accused of something in America, you don't have to say anything. Why this sudden change, you think? Um, Hunter must have made the uh, strategic choice when he chose Abby Lowell, because Abby Lowell is an in-your-face, let's fight back kind of lawyer. And that's what this offer to testify was. It was the opposite of the uh, make them a, uh, an offer they can't refuse from the godfather, complete with a horse's head in the bed. This is a make them an offer they can only refuse. And, and the offer was he has to testify in public, not in private. Uh, ex explain why the Republicans had to refuse it. Well, First of all, um, um, the real purpose of any of these investigations in the end has to be for the Republicans and indeed for the country. Nobody cares about Hunter Biden in the end. He's a private citizen. The question is whether or not the president of the United States, in his capacity either as president or as the vice president, which is when most of the money came into the family, whether that was a corrupt operation and whether or not Hunter Biden was an active part of that. And there are three things that we need to know. We need to know um, whether uh, Joseph Biden knew anything about it, whether he did anything to aid that enterprise and whether he benefited financially from it. And um, the best way to get at that is to have professional lawyers who are investigative lawyers uh, ask those questions to Hunter Biden uh, or any other witnesses behind closed doors. And that would be an adversarial proceeding. It wouldn't just be that Hunter would have his lawyers there. It would be that the Democrats would have their lawyers there. And so everybody would get to ask their questions. And then it would be perfectly reasonable for Hunter to say, I want to make that transcript completely public, but that's not what he wants to do. And I would expect that what he would really want to do if, if, in, if he has to comply is take the Fifth Amendment. And the reason he would not want to testify is that he's got ongoing criminal cases against himself right. and he wouldn't want to disclose anything that might jeopardize those. I don't know. But that, it, but, it, gives, but when it, gives, it gives Democrats a great talking point, right? I mean, you say, hey, look, he, he offered to testify. He's willing to come, he's willing to come and raise his right hand. It, it's, a great, it's a great political move. Exactly. It, it's kind of the equivalent in football of a, uh, uh, of a screen pass where you let the defensive line run in and then you pass right over them. That's kind of what he's trying to do. He's trying to say, I really, really, really want to testify, uh, but they're not going to let me. But yeah. in fact, before any of these committees, you don't get to name the way you're going to do it. Yeah. They get to name the way you're going to do it. I don't know. It, just, it, it felt very Trump-like to me. Kind of, it was a, it was a, in terms of a PR move, it was pretty good. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. 
And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.